Let's come on, let's go. Big feed. Just a beauty day to get going. So we're over land now, getting to that next system. We left the lake. We were camped down back there. So the next marsh is through here. I'm gonna have to make a little path. It seems like the best way. Stay there, bear. I'll be back in a second. It's a bit snaky. Oh, we got an obstacle. We got a creek, but this looks like a bridge. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna hold this tree right here. Okay. A lot of snow down there, that'll hold up good. Bear's not crying back there yet. <laughs> Usually when he goes out of sight, she'll start whining. She's not a fan of that. Okay, we're gonna come through here. And then, looks like there's some more woods and I think that borders the next lake. Who knows how deep that is too, right? I mean, there's probably eight, nine feet of snow. Could be a lot deeper than what it's showing, so. You don't wanna test it, even though it's not a, a, a deep raging river. You don't want to fall into a hole you won't get out of. Especially when you're on your own. This is great though to be a new country. I don't have a clue about any of it. I mean, that is half the fun. Just roaming through new places, seeing new things. And feeling that unknown, right? You don't know. You don't know what's coming. Good girl. Hey, no problem following my track, is it? Hey. We're across. So the next patch of woods looks like it's going to take us right down to the lake but it's about half a kilometer pretty dense i just had to take a tree down there a little tiny tree that was blocking a path it's not easy but it'll be worth it when we get out on the lake and we're freewheeling again beautiful day about minus six finish this off now <laughs> This one's pretty windy. Some soft snow and spots too, so. Had a girl. A little open spot here. A bit more woods. Lakes right behind it. This one feels like it's never gonna end. I'm in the Labrador wild on a month-long expedition with my Malamute beer. The absence of marked trails means plenty of exploring. Today I'm hoping to reach the Eagle River, 
but it's hard to put a time on anything out here. Route finding and progress often takes much longer than expected. So we made it down through the woods and the lake here. I would say we're not going to pull off our goal today of reaching the eagle. I don't know. We might have to kiss goodbye to it. It took just over two hours to get through that 1.5 kilometer overland portage there. There was a lot of woods there that wasn't showing up on the map. So it got a bit messy. You never know what you're going to get yourself into. What the conditions are going to be like. Of course on the lakes it's, it's a lot better going. You can cruise, on, cruise along a lot quicker. On the bright side of things, a snowmobile was coming across the lake when I came out through the woods and he must have spotted us and he came over anyways they were from Sheshashi here in Labrador and they're going on the same route as us almost to the Eagle River well they are taking a similar path and they're going on into the country might bang into them later on who knows but looks like we can follow their track now so you know we'll move along a bit quicker he's not taking the river I was going to follow down to the Eagle he's going to cross some marshland he said so we'll see where his track goes but you know you lose some going through the portage and then you come out and you win some I didn't expect to see anyone around here just because it doesn't look like there's anything around on the map doesn't mean there's no cabins tucked away somewhere or someone's going to show up so anyways it was great had a good little yarn with him and we'll follow his track after lunch. This is great on the track now, flying along, nice packed surface. Doesn't seem like it's as direct as the route I was going to take yet, but we'll see. This is a lot better for the both of us. Hey, Bear! Chugging along. She's almost sprinting back there. I can hardly keep ahead of her. Up like this is good. You going on ahead of me, are you? Look at Speedy Gonzalez here. Hold on ahead of me. We're out on some big, wide, sweeping marshes now. Go neck and neck here. You're not beating me to the next lake. Come on. Not a chance. Oh yeah, you're gonna beat me, are you? Your nose in the head. I need two more legs. Okay, time to go under. Ta-da! Had a little mishap in there. Glasses fell off my head and I stepped on them. Thankfully it was snow underneath and they were a big cushion. No harm done. Time to put those away. What an evening. It's amazing. The winds died off. We continue to follow the skidoo track. It goes right along the the river I was going to follow just to the uh, east of it I suppose or southeast so we'll keep following that again tomorrow didn't reach the eagle of course I didn't think that was going to happen after taking just about a couple hours or so they're coming through that tangly spot in the woods over land this morning I think we're still about five kilometers out give or take but uh, 
on this good skidoo track tomorrow we should be. If we get on the go two or three hours we should be down there. That's it, this is the beer. That's all we can do. What do you do when you live in a shoe? You save up your loot and you buy a boot. Woo! Melting some more snow now. There's no slush on the pond. But I don't mind melting snow. Like I said, once you get to boil, this one was boiling. Now we have a nice pot and it's probably cold. I'm gonna have a chug of that now soon. No, it's not cold yet. But you put enough snow in there, it'll get cold, and you chug away. Pristine snow water. cups of tea I had in my thermos to, today so just save one little cup for when I got into camp here you uh, you get dehydrated pretty quick out cold weather quicker than you think and you can see when you're breathing out the cold air the moisture that's expelled you probably lose more that way than you do sweating and you don't get thirsty that's the thing because it's cold so you gotta make sure to be you know I don't know the tea and water I had this morning and I certainly got a, a couple of liters of water in me, but that's not enough, even with beer. Out for a day hike now. Exploring a bit of a different woods off to the side of camp. We're a few kilometers out from the tent now. Looks like there's a pond down here. I see grouse up in these spruce woods. Spruce grouse. You get a good workout. Got some tracks. That's where one landed. There these tracks go. Come on, we need some fresh meat now. First bit of the trip, it's been too long. Okay, fresh. That means there's grouse in the area. Okay, we're finally gonna break out of these woods. Just plowing over everything though, over trees and up hills. It's nothing with snowshoes on, it's a joke. It'd be your worst nightmare in the summer. Hey girl. This is where you want to be careful of your direction. Once you get out on a marsh like this, it won't take much snow to blow over your track. Well, on a day like today, it's, it's only minus one. The sun, though it's overcast, is still up there. It can melt your track almost and it'll blend in to the ground if you're gone for so long. So I'm making note here as I come out of that woods of what the terrain is like. It's 
so it won't get lost coming back. On this day hike, I carry my GPS for peace of mind, but it's not essential. I can follow my nose back and also use my snowshoe track. I just have to make sure the weather conditions don't hide it. As for the grouse hunt, there's no luck. Looks like I'm digging into my rations again tonight. Good work, Bear. Nice little walk to loosen up. Back to camp. Cheese and crackers by the candlelight and the wood stove tonight. Can of kippers. Smoked kippers on the stove warming up to the frozen salad. Tupperware container filled with the purity cracker. We got some Scotsburn butter, salted. Hot tea right there. Bon appetit. A new day it's quarter to seven now it's already zero degrees looks like it's gonna be a mild day going could get rough later on as the Sun comes up especially in the afternoon sticky snow soft snow spring setting in Playing around, go get your sled. Nice little saw for a survival situation, you know. I always got it on my belt, I use it to cut a small tree down. Little tiny spruce to use it to knock the slushy soft snow that's sticking out to my snowshoes. I'm gonna knock it off as I'm walking because it's starting to happen now. It's about three or four degrees out. As the afternoon wears on, the pulling gets harder for the both of us. That's the sticky snow, see? Just getting to that point now, we're starting to grab the sled. Come on, Bear. Let's go. Always checking over my shoulder, see how she's doing. A few bottles of encouragement too. Keeps her motivated. Out of track, sir. He came through the woods and slid on down into the hole. Cool. Another outer hole in there. They're all over the place. That's the first birch tree in a while. Sign we're getting close to the river. Put it in my pockets. Look for the wood stove. Spot. 
and one of the most productive salmon rivers, Atlantic salmon rivers in the world, the Eagle River. It's all caught over here. You can see where there's some rapids up there frozen. This is a straight section now we're on. Down here there is some open water at some other rapids. I can see it on a little shelf. So we've got to be careful. Conditions are getting slow now. Sticky snow, mid-afternoon. The trail goes on across the river towards the Mealies where we had planned to go. But maybe I'll take some time and hang out in the area. It's a nice beautiful river valley down here, thickly wooded, some nice birch trees around, lovely spot, can't wait to explore around it. The real work is cut out when a toboggan traveller has to climb a steep hill. I try to avoid them but eventually the time comes. I remove one of the bags to lighten the load and return to haul up the rest. Inch by inch, I work my way to the top. Meanwhile, Bear gets a free pass and waits above. Good love of God. We're up. We look for a camp soon now. Snow's done for the day. Especially on this pond. Can't get fur with snow soft like that. It's funny, can't bear. Got a nice camp picked out over my shoulder there in the thick woods. Real windy, so needed shelter from all angles. Just checked the thermometer, six degrees. If we get a cold snap now, because sometimes you'll get a mild swing and then a cold snap after it, that will further stiffen things up, make the travel even, even better. I ended up coming about a kilometer and a half up from the Eagle. So we can have a look tomorrow now if we want. Feels like it. Fire's gone now. Kettle's just about boiled. One degree, ten thirty at night. Approaching a half moon up there, I think. Hard to see, we got some good shelter, canopy and stuff above. Good night. Now Bear, he's not backing down. So it's another mile one here today. The snow was junk. Had snowshoes on down on the lake, sinking several inches. Wet, sticky snow. It's no good. 
So we took the day off. But this morning I was lying back and I had a pain in my heel. Sharp kind of pain as I stretched out. So I reached down, took my sock off and I got a big crack. I've had small little dry cracks but nothing big like that. It's an open wound is what it is. Could uh, make for some sore walking later on. I don't want to deal with that way out here. To look after I got a bit of a salt water bath made up here. I just boiled the kettle and uh, let the water cool off. Poured it in this Tupperware. I'm going to sit back and I'll soak my feet now. I should be doing this more often soaking my feet so they're not drying out and getting cracked like they are. There's a couple other spots that look like they might break open. I'll treat the crack with some polysporin too once I soak them. This container is also my container for holding the candles so it's multi-purpose. I can feel that heel though. There's the water seeping in, a bit of salt there. It's a good day at the spa sure wood stove and everything. Cup of tea now in a minute. Let them soak for half an hour. A couple chocolate almonds. Hmm. You think my feet will be used to this racket by now, wouldn't you? Must be getting soft. So we're just breaking down camp now. I think we're going to head back across the river where we came from. Reason being is it cooled off today but the sun's still out, it's blazing. And what was calling for some snow there in a couple days is now calling for rain. So I don't want to get caught on this side of the river if a mild snap comes and we get a bunch of rain and it could be difficult getting across. So this is the safer decision and then we've got lots of country to explore. On the other side of the Eagle, big lakes. Hey bear, time to get going. Sled's slipping along so quick today. We're flying. Crusty hard snow now. I gotta stay off the skidoo track though because there's some edges there and we're, it's so hard and froze up my sled's hooking in and tipping over so we're back down on the Eagle and the mild weather seems to have eaten away there at the middle of the river it's probably some overflow too and a bit of water's kind of been pushed up from underneath the ice it could be safer for a couple more weeks. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, so I don't want to roll the dice. So I'm glad we came down all these wet spots and there's more back the other way. They weren't there when we came through. This is a big river and there's rapids underneath our feet. Better to be safe than sorry. I can hear them at certain points when I came across. You can hear the water rushing underneath. Gives you a little bit of a chill up the spine, you know. Especially when you're not on skidoo and you can't give her. You're just walking along with a big sled strapped to you. I have my axe in my hand coming across just in case. It was a gut decision to come across here today. We get 10 millimeters of rain. I don't know how safe it would be out here. Time to carry on, Vera. Back up this creek. I'm glad we're across that river now. This gave me a bad feeling last night and this morning in the tent. I wouldn't want to have to mess with that after. You know, five, 10 millimeters of rain and warm temperatures. That could be a completely different river. Over there, it's opening up. The further I take and I see little signs like that, I'm happy we left. You never know, right? Not sure where we're gonna go now. At least we got in to see the eagle. Hops back on the skidoo track, look what happens.
Okay, Bear. Back to the trail. We might end up in the woods there somewhere until we get better conditions. Hard packed in the morning. Over here. Another day in the old bush has arrived. The fire is going, but you hardly need it. Another warm day. Yesterday afternoon, we were back on our way down to the river again. I was going to go to another section that was more favorable, like a steady, closer to where we were originally going to go before we got on the Skidoo Trail. No rapids over there. But we had to leave the skidoo track to do that. Once we did, it was a grind for beer. It wasn't so bad for me with snowshoes on. It was half decent crust. Every now and then I was breaking through. But for her, every other step, she was up to her hip. That's hard on her, especially with the rough, crusty snow. Easy for her to get an injury there. So I put a quick end of the day. I seen a clump of trees not far off the track. And here we are, so we'll get down there eventually. Hey Bear, Bear, are we going to get down there soon? Wake up. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Anyways, what will happen will happen. Have a little rest today, Bear, while you take a break? You take a rest today? So now I got a little pea soup going on with the salt beef, cutting up a few more chunks. Can't wait to get into it. Anyway, it says I caught more chunks to go in the pot. Yeah. A little spice in there. Piece of bark. Get the fire going a bit more now. Got some pork scrunchings. Gonna fire a few of those in too. May as well. She's all but done there now. A little thin, but I'll take it. This tree here, it was a gnarly juniper, bent, tangled, hardened, and I was cutting it and splitting it. And it's an old, uh, old tree. There's a lot of rings on this tree. Each ring indicates a year. To me, it looks like at least a couple hundred close on it. Some of them are so tiny, decayed or broke down on the outside, so you can't tell those, but I'm thinking a couple hundred years old. Just imagine what this thing has seen, what it's been through here in Labrador. It's just persisted in this rugged terrain, you know. Stood the test of time. And a lot of trees here, they don't grow real big, but they are old. Anyways, just little coasters I made up to take home to remember this tree. A nice little beer holder on the coffee table. So the spring rains have arrived.
turn from rain to snow early this morning. I haven't checked the weather report. I'm trying to keep things interesting. Two nights ago, we had a halo around the moon, a big white ring. That usually indicates snow is coming. Banning for breakfast. Nice and hollow sound. That's cooked. Pot of tea. I'm going to coat that in butter now. cooled off again. Should be a good day traveling. We got a bit of snow yesterday. Five to ten centimeters. What a day to get going though. off the old frost. It gets rough and it creates a lot of drag when you're moving along with the toboggan. Cheap little scraper, hand scraper I picked up a Canadian tire for only a couple bucks. Job is done. What's going on now? It's alright, that'll get up. Very gave a little wine there. Got up. All right, go on. Come on. Let's go. You're good. You're free. Come on. Let a girl. So, I'm on a lake now. This morning, the air is crisp, pure. Pleasure to breathe it in. It's not a very big lake. We're gonna go across it now and go along the brook that leads down to a steady, a section of steady flat water on the Eagle River. Upon reaching the small brook, I find a surprise. It is so choked with blown down trees that we must instead pick our way through the nearby gnarly woods. We've got another little overland section to get us to the Eagle. <laughs> It's a bit twisty and turny, but we'll get through. I still haven't found a way yet. It can't be much longer. In the series finale, we keep navigating forward while clinging to the dying days of winter here in the big land, Labrador. What a view. You can even see the mealies over there. Far off. The white stuff's piling up pretty quick. That time of day. East winds, rain. I don't want to get caught in a big spring thaw. Come on, bear. Keep going for the love of God.